I'm gonna pretend like these boxes weren't open. I'm gonna take this picture. Hello and welcome, my name is Ansu. If you're new here, consider subscribing down below. We're seeing a lot of rings on my fingers. That's because I felt like wearing a lot of rings. That's why. Today, I have a huge book haul, as you can see by the box here. I did buy a few things and I did not unbox them until this video because I was being very, you know, YouTuber-esque. So let's unbox these things together, shall we? I'm gonna rip it open now. <sighs> okay. I have no self-control. Like when there's a nice discount for books, I'm buying it. Okay. Oh, shit. Which one are you? Do, do, do. Ah! Okay. Okay, I'm so excited for this one. So excited for this one. If you didn't know, this is our Kwong or Rebecca Kwong's latest book, Yellow Face. And I'm so excited to hold it in my hands. I cannot read this yet because I have to study for exams, unfortunately. But this one is essentially about two authors. One is a white author and one is an Asian American author. The Asian American author, Athena, is very, very successful. She's written some incredible books, but some kind of a freak accident happens and she ends up dying. The lovely little white author ends up stealing Athena's le last and latest manuscript and selling it as her own. That leads to a lot of things. I she kind of gets held accountable but not really because well she's white so she got away with it I think for the most part at least and it's supposed to be like this comedic thing that Arif Kwong was going for and I'm just very excited to see what she has to offer. I've never been disappointed by anything that she's written so far at least so I'm very very excited for this. That was exciting. Okay, I'm gonna open the other new release that I got, which is also from the lovely Indigo. And then I'll get into the big box because that's just ginormous. Can you make any guesses for what this would be? Go ahead, make those guesses. Ta-da! Happy Plays by Emily Henry. I have read almost everything that Emily Henry has written, at least I think. At least the popular adult ones. Um, I've read everything and I've really enjoyed every single book that I've read so far. This one is the first time I'm owning a physical copy of her books. If I remember correctly, they have this a married couple who are going through some difficult times and they're at the brink of divorce but they're pretending like they haven't broken up because they want to go on this vacation with their friends and so they're pretending like they're still together sleeping in the same room and whatnot but they're having a very difficult time with their marriage and essentially they're trying to have a good time but at the same time try to figure out what the heck is going on with their relationship. It sounds very interesting and I feel like it would be a very cutesy romance by the end of it. At least that's what I'm hoping for because otherwise that would be depressing. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for this one and you know one thing that I just noticed that Indigo did? They put the sticker, the Indigo exclusive thing, on the back. But this is, I don't think this is peelable. This is like part of the book. You usually have like a peelable sticker on the front, but this is not peelable but it's in the back. So just something worth noticing I guess, but yeah. I'm just very excited to get to this one. The big box. It's time. Obviously my address is there, so pretend like you can't see shit. Okay. Did that help? It did not help. Hold on one second. I'll try from the other side. That doesn't do anything. My nails look nice today. Are you kidding? I'm gonna like everything. Uh, uh, I'm gonna... This is a struggle. Okay, you know what? Scissors. Where are my hand? Here. I'm gonna save my books. I will be very upset. Okay. I think this is gonna use like brute force this place. I'm just gonna. I'm excited. Okay, which one do I pick first? This one just points at me. I got Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. I have read a couple of books by Frederick Bachman. I read A Man Called Uber by this author and I really, really enjoyed that. It was very, very slow paced, but it was beautifully written and loved it. There's also another book that he wrote, kind of like a nonfiction, basically telling some stories to his son. I thought that was really interesting. I had a very good time reading that as well. So I think that's all I've read by this author. But yeah, I got this one and I've heard great things about this as well. It's going to be very emotional, a tearjerker for sure, and I just cannot wait to get to this one. And next up. Okay, I'm gonna take these later. I got Darius the Great is not okay. This one I have heard a lot about. I don't know what this is about. Um, I'm thinking it's like more of a coming of age story. This guy's trying to find himself. The main character is from Iran and he has roots there obviously, but he doesn't really feel like he's connected to the place. So he ends up actually going to Iran trying to know what his family was really like in the past, like where his family was from and all that kind of stuff, trying to figure out who he is as a person and whatnot. And I've heard only lovely things about this book, so 
I got this. All right, next up. We're gonna talk about these three books together. I'm not okay. Hoping. I found this on the web for currency are part of the sea. Check it out. What? <laughs> Siri, you good? This is part of a series by Tessa Dare. So I got One Dance with a Duke, Twice Tempted by a Rogue, and Three Nights with a Scoundrel. These are all obviously historical romance books and there's a, a blurb by Julie Quinn in here. I have read a lot of Julie Quinn books if you didn't know when I was like 12. I think I've read a couple things by Tessa Dare, but I'm not very sure. So I wanted to give these a shot. I'm not even like going to look into what these books are about. They're usually about the scoundrel man who kind of falls in love with a woman and she makes him legal for her all the time. That's it. It's yeah, that's kind of what I expect from all kinds of historical romances. I don't expect anything new from that formula, but it's just supposed to be cutesy and that's all I care about. So yeah. You know what I just realized? I should have taken a picture with the boxes before I ripped into them. That was a stupid idea. But anyway, I got All My Rage by Sabata here. I started reading this book in uh, the bookstore one day and I was literally in tears within like 10 pages of the book. So I was like, maybe this is not for me. Um, it was probably at a very raw and emotional time in my life that I started reading this. This is supposed to be set in like two different timelines. It's the one in Lahore, Pakistan and the other in Juniper, California. And there are difficulties of just being... I think it's just like being generally Muslim in America, I think. I'm not too sure, but I'm quite interested to see what the story is about. It's apparently like very close to what Sabata here had to go through and I think, don't quote me on that, please don't, but I think. And I'm just very curious to know like what she has to offer in this particular book. I read like 10 pages, like I said, so I was crying already. Let's see. Next up I got a book that I had seen on booktube for a little while and some people really like this thriller so I thought maybe I'll give it a shot. I really don't know much about it. Thrillers are something that I just go into it completely blindly and I always end up enjoying it like that and I just I think it's better that way right you just completely immerse yourself into this whole world and you just don't expect anything out of it other than just being like a little shocked and surprised. And I got uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I've heard really good things about this, but we have 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. So our main character, um, Mrs. Wright, always writes these letters to her husband on, her, on their anniversary. And she never lets him read any of these letters until this particular anniversary she'd like. You can read them. And there's some dark secrets that unravels, I guess. And Mr. Wright is um, ace blind, so he cannot even recognize his own wife. I don't know how that works. Let's, we'll figure it out together. <laughs> um, yeah, but I've heard really great things about this as well. So I just, I was curious to know what I would be getting into. So yeah, I got this one. Next up, I got I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jenna McCurdy. I have read this book, so I'm very excited to like finally get a hold of it. I think I read this around February of this year and I really thoroughly, I don't know if enjoyed is the right word because that doesn't feel right, but this was just a fantastic book. I think everyone should read it. This one is a nonfiction. It falls around Jeanette McCurdy, who was a child actress. And she had gone through some horrible things in her life. And I think it's just so interesting to see her point of view and how things were quite horrible. But she has persevered through everything. And she's still living with a lot of that abuse that she had to deal with, from, especially from her mother. And also, like, the people that she was working with, like, the higher-ups, like, the directors and stuff like that. The creators of the show, essentially, and the difficulties that she had to go through with that whole situation. It's just so interesting to see the dark side. Again, I don't know if interesting is the right word, because I feel like that's negating the things that she went through. But it was a fucking fantastic book. I loved it. 10 out of 10. But... Check out the trigger warnings in this one because there's so, so many. Um, I have talked about this book extensively on my channel, so I'll leave some things um, clicked down below if you're interested to keep watching me chitter chatter all the time. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed this book, so I wanted to get a physical copy of it, and I did. The final book that I was quite interested in getting to read was Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing by Matthew Perry. This is also a nonfiction. I used to love Friends growing up. I've watched every single episode so many times. I adore that show so much. Matthew Perry or Chandler was one of my favorite characters in that show. And just to see like the dark things that he also had to go through, someone who we see to be as a very funny person, 
has having such a dark past is just insane to me and I want to see like what all he had gone through this feels like a very short book and it has like a couple of pictures I didn't know that I'm interested to see the things that he went through as well because I feel like this would be very similar to the Jeanette McCurdy book as well um, in terms of like the trauma and the difficulties um, but it's like a slightly different time and the the issues that Matthew Perry faced was also different than what Jeanette had to go through so I'm curious to know what he had to go through I've heard like it was terrible so okay so those are all the books that I got in this book haul eight lovely books that I got in this book haul I thought it was going to be bigger than this actually no I lie there we go 11 books that I got for this book haul I'm very very excited to read every single one of these and I cannot wait to get to them pretty soon um once I finish exams and I can breathe again but yes if you didn't see my sweater yet, it is Tom and Jerry. I love it. Anyway, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ansu. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time with another one. Until then, I'll talk to you all in the comments. Bye!